Hello everyone, Tish Dele. <laughs> I hope uh, all of you are uh, fine and safety and happy <laughs> in this monsoon season. Um, yes. <clears throat> so, uh, today I will talk a little bit about uh, the, uh, how to say, difference between ordinary beings and buddhas so it's a, it is like a example um, <clears throat> um, when we are uh, childhood and we love toys every child they bring toys yeah, together and they think it is very important for them if uh, some other child they try to rob the toys then that child will be really angry and uh, screaming and um, he he will think oh, it is very uh, important for him it's like a diamond or gold for him but uh, it is very similar like in the relative truth we all sentient beings we think everything's permanent everything's real everything happiness so we think everything's uh, true it is relative truth but uh, actually uh, is in the real situation is all impermanent and all the phenomena are how much we examine we cannot find everything is emptiness and egoless so this is uh, uh, like when the grown man then they understand toys are just useless uh, not so precious for them and they don't care much about toys uh, so it is like uh, this uh, buddhas buddha means uh, how to say um, buddha means understanding understand uh, buddha means all awakened because they understand the real situation they understand the reality and that's why they became buddha so in buddhism we don't say buddha is like god uh, we, we say buddha is just ordinary being but uh, he uh, practice practice and then he developed has his inner value developed his compassion developed his understanding then he fully awakened then that means liberation liberation means uh, it doesn't mean in buddhist like heaven in somewhere else but liberation and just in your mind if you your mind is fully understanding the reality then you will uh, free from all the suffering and painful experience you will free from all the anger attachment jealousy and this depression or these things then that we call uh, uh, liberation or enlightenment so uh, yes so but when if there's a uh, father and mother they have children then father and mother they will uh, play with toys with children but it doesn't mean the father mother themselves they so interesting about it play games with children but they just want to make uh, comfortable and make happy to their children so that's why they are just pretending to be interesting about uh, toys and they just play with children. So this is um, it's like all the Buddha's teachings. There are so many different teachings. Uh, there are two uh, ways of teaching. One is uh, for method, or other is uh, um, knowledge or to real situation. So method there are so many different practice different kind of practice in vinaya and in the you know, bodhisattva practice and in mayana practice and in the vajrayana practice there are so many different things 
like uh, you should accumulate merit like example you have to do prostitution you should do offering flowers and incense in the, the shrine you should do recitation mantra and you should visualize uh, deities this and that so many these are all uh, methods uh, this method should visualize uh, deities this and that so many these are all uh, methods uh, this method is uh, final point, final object is to bring you to understand the nature, to understand the, uh, how to say, really, um, ultimate truth. Uh, that is the, uh, how it, Dharma it is. So, <clears throat> therefore, in the, when we practice Dharma, we need this both uh, merits and wisdom. We need this both together. Like uh, if birds need to fly, he needs right wings and left wings. If only one of them, then he cannot uh, keep the balance and he cannot fly. Even airplane is the same. You need both two wings. Without two wings, cannot fly properly. <coughs> Will be like this, you know. So it's similar to reach enlightenment. Reach enlightenment means to awaken, fully awaken. And then we need uh, these two methods. One is uh, merit. We should accumulate merits. So therefore, we need to uh, uh, practice all these six parameters like. Uh, generosity and uh, uh, discipline and patience and all these things and you should make uh, uh, offerings you should make uh, uh, how to say uh, chanting sutra or mantra or make offerings so this also helps like if you uh, keep offering in the shrine actually buddhas they don't need flower they don't need uh, incense they don't have uh, attachment so there's nothing to do with uh, buddha but why we have to offering is flowers and incense and waters in the shrine it's only for accumulate merit for myself and it also helps to reduce our stingy if we prostration if we prostrate in the shrine or lama then this will also uh, reduce our uh, pride then yes if we in the vajrayana if we practice uh, about visualize yourself as a deity this will uh, reduce your uh, ego and then this will reduce your anger and jealousy and these things so these all are the methods but the real point is only to uh, understand the uh, relative truth or understand the uh, nature uh, so then from these two parts then we will achieve uh, two kayas dhammakaya and samboga kaya dhammakaya for yourself samboga kaya for others other beings mm, this is like uh, when we are buddha is just why buddha gives teachings this is just like uh, buddha just uh, try to uh, grow up the child, child uh, one by one, slowly grow up. We should grow up. We ordinary beings are like now, um, it's like child, we are not grown up. So we have ego, so we have anger, jealousy, so then we are suffering. So that is we call samsara, that is samsara. So when we become egoless then we will release from all this anger attachment and desire then we will free from suffering that is liberation so buddha has just uh, try to uh, how to say try to lead us or try to change us change our mind try to change to grow growing so when we become fully growing become adult that means enlightenment 
So there, there is two. Dharma Kaya for yourself to understanding fully meaning, fully understanding, fully awakened that is achieved for yourself that is called Dharma Kaya. Uh, then with compassion, uh, then you will uh, naturally, automatically benefit a lot of sentient beings, a lot of other people uh, like Buddha Shakyamuni or Guru Rambuchi or Green Tara or like this or like Gambopa or Tsamba Jari or there are so many yeah Milarepa or like these things this is the um, Nirmana Kaya or Samboka Kaya or uh, to benefit other um, beings yes okay so that is for today take care everyone See you.